Yo, what is up guys, boys here coming to you guys with another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Now guys, today I'm going to be showcasing my global account. I don't know if I've shown it on my YouTube channel yet. I think maybe a Sugo Fast video. But guys, this is uh, my uh, global account that I've been playing for the past few weeks. I've been having a blast on global. It's been a lot of fun. And especially with this Kazuna Clash team event. Uh, if you guys know, uh, we've had two team events so far on Japan, and they were both a ton of fun. It was awesome coordinating with all your team uh, and the other players, and that's cu currently what we're doing right now on Global, is if somebody dies, we call out, and then someone else tries to go in and get an assist. So, uh, yeah, it's been a blast. Uh, I think we're in the point right now of the runs where I'm dying pretty much after every run. There's, I can't do enough damage. But I'm trying to get as much damage in to make the assist a little bit easier for my teammates. Now, um, I was pretty lucky, guys. I did manage to pull all three boosted units. I think I went to five multis for the Nami, and, or maybe six, I don't remember. And I ended up getting the Luffy as well, which is a big deal. Made me get a lot of tokens. Uh, and so we've been actually doing really well this event. Uh, if you go here, you guys can see that currently we are in top 4% S rank. Which is pretty good um, you know we're not we don't necessarily have a lot of the whales on our team but everyone's putting in their part uh, and you know I, I'm in the top five right now for runs uh, we have a lot of other people uh, someone's actually pretty close here yeah they're pretty close to 200 runs so that's pretty crazy um, and so just overall we're trying to get as many runs finished this part two guys is gonna be all about trying to complete your teammates runs so that's what I'm gonna be focusing on right now uh, except for the fact that I'm also doing treasure map on Japan at the same time guys so it is a little bit rough right now but uh, nothing that I can't uh, handle I mean we're, we're doing pretty well we just gotta stay in the top 10% for that S rank title so overall guys uh, this event has been a lot of fun uh, it's been a great experience just like on uh, uh, Japan now Japan that was the first event Moria was the first team Kazuna event so there's a lot of things we didn't know a lot of mistakes we were making uh, I went ahead and brought that knowledge over to the global team. Uh, so we've been trying to not repeat the same mistakes that I made on when the first time I did it. Uh, and it's been, it's been a really good time. Like if you look at the top right hand corner, 15,000 Kazuna tickets, like we've been going in. Uh, and these tickets will take a long time to refresh uh, or to use up I should say. Um, which is one big quality of life change that I hope they make soon is the ability to go into the exchange and use a lot of tickets. Uh, because right now you can only do 10 at a time right so it's gonna take me a long time to go through all these tickets at the end of the event um, another thing that people were kind of complaining about is that there wasn't uh, well I, I should say people some people didn't know that you had to join a team and they thought they would just randomly be placed on a team uh, and so in the future going forward I do hope that people are just randomly put in a team if they don't select a team even if even though the notice said to make sure to join a team uh, in these kind of games, these kind of events, for the most part, you usually put into a random team if you don't join a specific team. It's just kind of how things tend to work in these games. So for it not to work like that in OPTC was a little weird. Some people did unfortunately miss out on joining the team. Uh, so hopefully for the second event on Global and the third event on Japan, uh, you just get placed in a random team. I don't remember how it happened on Japan specifically. It might be like that on Japan, but... Um, whatever happens, hopefully this, the next global event uh, will be like that. And I'm trying to remember what the other global team Kazuna was, but I already forgot. Uh, but yeah, so unfortunately there was that problem. And then the other kind of big deal with this Kazuna is the Kuma. If you guys know, if you get Kuma on the second room, a lot of people uh, instantly get a rip run. And, uh, you know, it's, it's not a big deal. It's whatever. That's mainly so that you have to get your assist called in. But at this point, it doesn't really even matter. I'm gonna be dying after every run. So there are, you know, my teams aren't that great. I'm sure I could make better teams. For example, this team right here. Uh, if I had Red Katakuri, I could go ahead and use him. Uh, but instead, I have to use um, I have to use this random smoothie for the Cracker support. Um, yeah, I do have a I do have V1 Katakuri, but if I unevolve him. Then to re-evolve him, I'll have to use my skulls. Uh, I have to use like specific skulls, and I don't even know if I want to farm that again. So I don't think it's really worth it. But we can kind of go do a showcase run real quick. Uh, and yeah, man, I guys, I have been having a lot of fun on Global. There's a lot of quality of life uh, improvements on Global that aren't on Japan yet. 
which makes it a very very refreshing experience I really have just had a blast playing it uh, and mainly the upside of playing global is that I get to play with a lot of my friends most of the people that I know who play Treasure Cruise still only play global so I was playing Japan and there was maybe a few people that I could talk to uh, you know some of the regulars like Samuel, Atsu, some of the other guys out there that still play JP you know I could talk to them about it but uh, like my friend Apollo but outside of like a small group there weren't really that many people I could you know talk and get hype over global about and so that's kind of been a lot of fun recently is being able to talk about the global side of OPTC with most of my friends who do play global in the discord uh, and it just made it all you know such a refreshing experience there's always gonna be new events now for me on the global side and then on the JP side and because both of these accounts are pretty stacked uh, my obviously my JP account is pretty OP and my global account that I got was pretty stacked when I got it that means that I don't really have to farm uh, or not to focus too much on uh, events and stuff like that usually like if there's a new event I can clear it in like a day or so especially with the five times skill up that's been out on global that's been a huge help to try to uh, you know max out some characters that weren't maxed yet and actually I do need to still farm invasion Lin Lin so invasion Lin Lin uh, I believe she's out right now. I think there's like a day left to skill up So I need to go ahead and farm that after this video at least get one copy because that is missing on this account uh, And she is one of the best free-to-play units in the game uh, I would love to get her limit break ability max because she does get the slot bind reduction But uh, we'll see we'll see um, if I can if I have time because I'm still doing treasure map on Japan as well at the same time So I don't want to I don't want to you know, I want to get to at least 7 million points there uh, So yeah uh, overall, like I said, these teams, this is probably my weakest team. Uh, I'm sure I can make better teams, but right now I don't really have the time to, you know, go into the lab and try to test out other things. I just need to keep rolling. I need to keep going. I mean, we're in, we're top 4%. The goal of my team is just to try to stay there, to stay top 10%, uh, and uh, try to get some assist runs. Uh, I, guys, I have been kind of slacking on assists, but again, it's assists don't really count towards your points, so that's why I haven't really been prioritizing them really it's just the no number of runs you do but in this stage uh, part two of the event and with everybody on my team pretty much having most of the boosters it's gonna be a big deal so I can help them finish their runs so let's see if we can uh, help anyone out here oh, okay so Reshin level 150 I know he's on my team uh, we also got Grifto so we have a few guys here who need some uh, now the way the assist works guys they're kind of confusing I feel like some of these could have already been finished but I'm not too sure like you know I'm doing this wrong I'm gonna help him out but I don't know if he's already been you know if someone's already helped him out but we're gonna do it anyways we're gonna go ahead and um, do another run here and this is again this is what this part really is about just completing your teammates runs um, I, I think it's gonna be pretty hard to fall out of the top 10 at this point but um, you know I don't know how hard the other teams are going I know some I know like there was one player who's already near like level 250 so that's pretty crazy uh, that probably takes a lot of potions um, to get there but yeah some players you know they're they're going ham and um, at that point the HP scaling is pretty high to the point where like you really you're gonna need at least three or four people helping you out to clear it I think um, so yeah it's just it, you know this has been a really fun experience I really I'm glad that we got a good team together. I nominated Rose uh, for my Discord as the team captain, and uh, he he did a really good job uh, recruiting a good team. And again, hopefully you guys had some good teammates. Um, and uh, you know, just usually when it comes to these events, try to make sure they can pull. Try to make sure they can do Sugo Fest pulls for the boosters because that's going to make the biggest difference. So we kind of said, hey, you guys need to do at least two multis for the Brook, and if you can do more multis. Uh, then you know we'll gladly take you on our team and uh, I think most like I think at least six or seven of us got the Luffy so you know we got we got pretty lucky uh, overall as a team uh, and that's kind of what I recommend guys for the next team Kazuna this is mainly so you guys can kind of prepare for the next one um, is try to get into a good team early on like I'd say maybe a month before the event um, try to start recruiting that's what I did on the second JP Kazuna about a month before the event we knew it was gonna happen and so we started just, you know, hey, asking around, hey, you know, we're looking for team members. Um, we're, we want you to at least, you know, get, try to get two of the boosters if you can. Uh, and yeah, and on JP, we ended up doing like really well uh, the second time around. 
and so I recommend trying to do that for the second one whenever that comes in a few months on global uh, trust me it'll be worth it it'll make it a lot easier uh, and yeah it'll overall make it a better experience uh, so that well, you know I just wanted to drop this little global video on you guys let me know how your team Kazuna is going hopefully it's going well I'll talk to you guys in the next video and until next time peace